Hello again, everyone. This is Coco Kono. I'm back today. Um, this is the cooking channel anyway. It's not anything major. But uh, today menu is going to be cabbage. We are cooking fried cabbage today. So, like I normally do, I will introduce everything. I will show you all the uh, ingredients. Then I can start doing what I got to do. Okay, this is the cabbage. This is regular raw cabbage. You can buy it from anywhere, save a lot, the Chinese store or anywhere, but this is cabbage. So we'll be doing cabbage today. So these are all my ingredients for the cabbage. This is the chicken and the fish and small turkey neck. This is all what we're going to prepare for the cabbage. This is my hot pepper and a tomato and onion leaf. I don't know how the people call it. And uh, the bell pepper. This is the sweet pepper right here. It's not hot at all. So what am I going to do with it? I'm going to, the, the hot pepper, the bell pepper, the tomato, and the onion leaf, the onion is soft. I'm going to blend everything together. But as the video go, I will be showing you what I'm doing. And um, for the cabbage, you wash your cabbage, which I already did. I'm getting ready to cut it now. So I'm going to show you how it made. You see, some of the cabbage got leaves. Some might not have leaves, but uh, if you look it to get one of the ones with the leaf, you take out all the leaf while you finish washing it. You take out all the leaf and get it ready for cutting now. How do I do it? There we go. Cabbage is being cut here. Like I always tell you in all my video, clean while you cooking. Make sure your surrounding is nice and clean. So that's my cabbage right here. Because I'm doing fried cabbage, I'm not doing boiled cabbage. That's why I'm slicing it. So you see what I'm doing? Like I would do, uh, like I do in my. My potato green video is the same thing. You slice the cabbage, but this is it. This is how you slice the cabbage for cabbage soup, fried cabbage. That's what I'm doing here. You see here? You see how you work the knife? Very simple. And be careful, don't cut yourself. That's the cabbage. Cabbage is not really hard like the potato grain. The cabbage is very easy to slice. I'm going to show you the whole cabbage right now. This is the leaf that I took off. And I'm working my way around it nicely. Please, please, please watch this video to the end. And uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, watch and learn why we do it together okay this is a good thing to learn how to cook when you learn how to cook everything is easier to you you see how is it going nice there stay with me it's not that bad it's not too long. So be patient. Sit there, watch and learn. Alright. Nice and cut cabbage. Okay. Now the whole cabbage. I know some of you are thinking, but how is she gonna do that? You wanna peel the cabbage, leave off one at a time? No. When you reach to the ball part of the cabbage, this is how you do it. You just take the whole thing. Like I told you, it's very easy to do. That's the magic part of it, the whole cooking. So we are doing cabbage today. I'll show you the cabbage. 
and I will walk you through the ingredients in the cabbage. You see what I'm doing? Slicing everything. Now you see the work that in African food. It's yummy to eat, but it's a little bit hard to prepare. But that's why you got some of us that will go on YouTube and show you the easier way out. So you see how I'm going and where I'm going, fried cabbage, that way we're going. Beautiful. Good job here. You see? Cut in a way that you will be able to hold a slash. Make sure you wash your stuff. Anything you're cooking, even the cold spoon you're taking to, sh to stir the food, make sure you just rinse it off. Even if it is washed, rinse it because you don't know what crawl on it in the night. You see how the cabbage growing? I'm cooking whole part of cabbage here. But I'm just walking you through the process of it. Very easy. Got some good ingredients that are gonna go in the cabbage you're looking at here. It stay raw, it look like it's too hard, but when it's done, you're gonna see the good work that we all do here while cooking in Coco's corner. Okay, you see how it's going? Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel when you watch. Watch and learn because we're all doing this together. You and I cooking cabbage together. So you watch, you learn, you share the video to your friend. Anybody who love cabbage. That's how cabbage is made. You see? All the cabbage that be me here, I'm going to cut it off and tell you what to do. All right, you see? Cabbage is nice and cut. And uh, let me show you a couple of things here that I don't want to forget. Show you the ingredients that I showed you earlier. 
that is the shrimp and what i'm gonna do now i already seasoned all this and in all my video you guys know the seasoning that i use it's not anything new that's that and um this i use all this in all my cooking video you're gonna see these stuff in there so i use little bit of each so so to season my food and like i always tell you season the way you like it if it tastes good to you it is good so that's what i did here i season everything and for the um <clears throat> for the fry cabbage you gotta fry everything you got here like uh not the, the, the turkey neck though you're not frying the turkey neck you're gonna boil that one but you're frying the the chicken and the fish you're frying them and now i got my my worker over there which is my deep fryer and as the video goes you will see it a little bit after i finish frying everything you're not going to see that again so since i already showed you this i'm going to transfer it here because i'm getting ready to fry them and the shrimp i'm not frying it i'm going to put it in the cabbage so you can ask me how do you fry fry is putting the stuff in and putting it in the hot oil so that's what i'm getting ready to do now i will fry my chicken here and when everything fry it's gonna be really 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 nice and beautiful and i will show you it but uh that's what i'm doing i'm just frying it in the dairy fryer okay so so I told you earlier on I would be blending all these. So that's what I'm gonna do now. The onion leaf, I'm just chopping it off and blending it, that's all. So I'm not really slicing here because I'm gonna blend it anyway. So that. I'm gonna blend all these with the the fresh tomato. All right. I'm peeling it off so I can um, blend it along with a hot pepper too like I showed you earlier This is the hot pepper in here. Like I told you, I'm gonna blend everything.
we're going to fry everything and we will be boiling the um the the small turkey neck that's the hot pepper and the onion blending right now so since i show you everything else That's the chicken. We say frying it. the pepper, and everything else that you saw here. <coughs> All right. You saw here the onion, the uh, pepper, the bell pepper, the tomato, and the onion leaf. That's everything here. After I got through blending it, this is how it turned out to be. This is how it turned out to be. So, while we're frying this stuff, we're not going to wait because we got a lot of things to do so this is the part that the magic going to happen in and the oil regular agro oil that's what we're cooking so i put it in the pan because i'm doing a lot of cabbage that's why you see too many oil. So, you see, all this cabbage is going to go in here. So, you need a lot of oil to do that. Okay? So, you put the oil on in there. Uh, you put the oil in the pot. And I don't have enough for oil, so I'm going to add a little more. This is the oil I cook with. You can find it in Sam Club, BJ's, um, what the other place? Restaurant Depot, or... Uh, Anywhere that convenient, even Walmart, I think you can find it there too. So, that's the oil I'm gonna be using. I already got oil in the pot, but it's not enough. So, I'm gonna put a little bit more. We use tomato paste too, in the, um, the, the cabbage. So, that's my tomato paste. It all depends on how much you're making. Because I'm making a lot of them, a, a lot of cabbage, so I'm using two. So now what I do? The oil is hot, so these are my season. The Goya season, I put in the oil. I put season oil in the oil. So what you do, 
like I always tell you, measure your food because I'm doing whole pan of cabbage. I'm gonna do one spoon of season, one uh, cook spoon of season. As my video go, you will not see me putting any more season in there because I don't want it be salted. I already know how much want to season my food, my cabbage. So that's why I'm measuring. But if you just if you just cooking a little pot, not huge like this one I'm making, you don't have to to do whole spoonful of season. You only do it if you're cooking the quantity I'm cooking. If not, then don't do that. So, I'm giving you a recipe for the bigger part. So if you're doing a little part, you don't have to do the recipe I'm doing. This is table salt. But the table salt, I'm not doing whole spoon of table salt. I'm just doing little bit. Just a little. So you see, everything is in my pot now. I'm still waiting for it to get hot. I want it to be hot a little bit. So, as you can see on this side, the chicken is still frying, taking it on time to cook. Why all that one going on? I'm doing other stuff. I'm not just sitting there watching TV to let it do itself, like somebody that I know. I'm putting everything that I just blend in the oil. I know you got a lot of questions, but why you not putting the cabbage? And you put in the uh, the pepper and stir first. Yes, that's the best way. That one is easy. Mm. You want to bring the camera closer mm -hmm. so they can see in the pot. It smells good. You see in here? You see how everything look? It almost like I'm making just gravy, but I'm not making gravy, I'm making cabbage. So, so now, my cabbage come up my tomato goes in the oil the tomato I'm putting in the oil with the rest of the stuff Okay, the tomato is in there. Now everything else in here. Let me not forget about the uh, the fish that I'm frying too. I mean the uh, the chicken that I'm frying, so it can't burn.
Chicken stir fry. While you frying the chicken on the other side, you stay cooking the cabbage. So now I'm about to fry my my cabbage. Put it in the oil in the pot. The cabbage that we all cut today. You guys were ready right there when I was doing it. See, cabbage is cooking. That's how you cook cabbage. You see, this is why we go in. We ain't there yet. The cabbage not done yet. It's still cooking, but this is it. This is how it's turning. It's still frying. I ain't put uh, I ain't put water there yet. It's just the oil and uh, the the turkey neck and the chicken pea still cooking. And I still frying the chicken. That's what I got made already. And I'm gonna do the fish. I'm gonna fry the fish too. This is it. The fish. I'm frying it. But you see the cabbage. Let me tell you something about the cabbage um in cooking make sure you are right there to so see oops everything that is happening in your pot that's the fish I'm about to fry them. And you see, I still got my shrimp here. I ain't put it there yet because the I'm gonna put in the cabbage with the water that I'm I'm making here. You don't want to put the shrimp there too early before it stream up and look very little. So you will put it there later after you pour all the ingredients in, okay? So we stay cooking the cabbage because we want the cabbage to be nice and soft. So you see how it's turning up to be? But uh, I will show you when I get it ready to put anything there. I ain't put any season there yet apart from the one that we did today in the oil. That's the season we still dealing with. But because um, the small turkey neck here is, it, it got little season on it. The juice will be season two. So, you don't want to put a lot of seasoning inside and turn out to be salty. You don't want your food to be salty. So, only the seasoning that I put in the oil today is stay here. As the video go, if it's cooking and I don't taste it my way, then I will put seasoning. But for now, it's good as it is. You don't need to add any seasoning because your food got to be tasty. And don't forget, 
watch the video and don't forget to subscribe down the bottom subscribe so that whenever i put any video up you will be the first to get it all right okay keep on watching now show it in the pot let me show you something okay now you see this is where the cabbage have reached and now i got the last stuff here to put inside that's my small turkey neck this is not red meat y'all that's small turkey neck because i know a lot of people don't eat red meat so they be there oh you call red meat no okay i'm putting all the the juice that i use as you can see the cabbage is already cooked so what i did when i boil my my small turkey neck, I did not use a lot of water because you got to be careful. You don't put a whole lot of water in there with just a little water that I had in there. So now I put in the cabbage. And now, my last, let me put this in the sink. My last touching now I'm going to do is here. These are my cube. The different cube. This is beef cube. This is maggot cube. This is a uh, shrimp crayfish. So I'm gonna use that as my last touch. I'm not gonna put anything else in my soup again. I'm not putting any more seasoning. That's the only seasoning here. So with this one that I did earlier and the one I'm doing now, I'm going to have myself a nice, yummy cabbage. So, that's what I'm doing here. Nothing secret. I show you everything that I did from the beginning, from scratch. And you guys were here with me when I cook, when I started cooking the cabbage. We did everything together. So, ain't nothing strange here. That you know or ain't heading, ain't no heading on um um agenda in here. No, there was nothing heading. You saw all my seasoning, you saw my cabbage from scratch, and all the ingredients are supposed to go inside. I show it to you and my measurement. You saw everything for the cabbage. And I hope you learn it not because i'm doing four or five maggot cube you should do the same go according to the quantity you're making for me i'm making a huge pot so that's why all my my measurement are little bit double because i'm doing twice or maybe three of your regular cooking pot so that's the reason why i'm doing it that way so not because i'm using four q so if you're making one cabbage you should use four q no so you see that's that's how it works the whole secret of cooking is right here you will find it right here in Coco's Corner. Ain't naughty, 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 naughty. And please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe, subscribe, so that you can be the first to watch any video that I put up. Okay, now as you see, nothing burning here because what since i started cooking this food today i'm right here in the kitchen i did not leave it to go watch tv or to go do anything else i'm watching this food with everything i got because i don't want no mistake i don't want my cabbage to smell you know you know i don't want my cabbage to smell burn so that's why i did not leave to go anywhere i'm right here so now 
My chicken come handy. Uh, should I put the chicken there right now? No. I will wait, let it boil a little because a lot of water in here. If I put my chicken there right now and it start cooking, everything gonna be so soft. So I let it be for a little bit. I will show you when I put the, um, the chicken and the shrimp. I still got shrimp here. I'm not putting the shrimp there right now because I got a lot of water in here. I gotta wait, let the water go down a little bit. Then I can get for everything there and let it steam. All right, love you guys. Keep on watching, let's go. Okay, now, you see everything gone down. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'm putting everything else in there. The, the shrimp wanna go there, see it? chicken I gotta put all my chicken there now no more seasoning it don't need any more seasoning is yummy to my taste so and you're gonna like it too because we all cook it together so if it tastes good to me it's gonna taste good to you All right, you see here, when I'm done, it's just gonna sit here and just cook nicely, like I told you, no burning at all, because I'm right here. Okay. Time will kind you will get burned, but it's okay. You don't quit because of that. Stay cool. <laughs> I love this. I love it, love it, love it so much. How everything thinning ought to be. It going right back. Everything going right back. That's how my grandmama used to do it. So I'm showing you just the way I learned it. Oh. You see this? No other place you can go to learn to cook to learn how to cook cabbage then Coco's Corner. Go on YouTube, Coco Gatai, Facebook, Coco Gatai. I don't have Instagram, so I stop right there. <laughs> so, if you go on YouTube, you tap in Coco Gatai, how to cook cabbage, it will pop right out. Or, Coco got to how to fish GB. Anything you want cook, just type it in. On a K O K O G A R T E I. And don't forget, don't be stingy. Share the video. Subscribe to your friends who wants to learn how to cook these things. And my fish is right here. I'm gonna put it in right now. So keep on watching. And let's learn how to cook cabbage. The cabbage soup. The cabbage soup. This is it. Y'all see how everything look? Nothing burned. Few more minutes. It will be cooked. 
and it tastes really really good just as you can see the face it look good and tastes good so in few minutes cabbage will be done almost there you see how it look with everything in it nothing else to go there all is done and um for those of you that might not know what cabbage look like all the type because you got boiled cabbage and you got this one which is the fried cabbage it go with a plain rice that's my rice cooker right there and this is the rice in there regular plain rice so you put it rice in a bowl and put this nice cabbage on it and yummy don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel y'all watch and thank you for cooking along with me i hope you learn my recipe and you're gonna follow it and don't forget to subscribe to that little subscribe button down there just subscribe and i'm going to hurry for you to subscribe okay so keep on watching. I will show you the last phase of it. It almost cooked, but we just letting it to steam down a little bit for the water to completely dry so it can just be oil. So that's why it's sitting here now steamy. It's not going to burn nothing. You're going to see it later. Okay? Love you guys. Keep on watching.